Party games can be a lot of fun, and they can also ruin a lot of friendships. But there's a new one called Marooners that's trying to do that on the PS4. But this is a party that you want to join, or should this one just be marooned to a desert island? Marooners is an up to six player local or online multiplayer game where your goal is to compete against your friends, bots, or people around the world in order to see who can get the most amount of points in a set of a few mini games and be declared the overall winner. Instead of having a big giant game board or coins or stars to collect or something similar, instead you're just bouncing from one level to the next competing in these mini games, and once you do all of them, whoever has the most amount of points at the end is the winner. The game has a couple of different modes of play as well as a couple of different styles of minigame. The two different styles of events or minigames are party and arena. For the arena matches, your goal is to knock out all your opponents and you're rewarded a point for every second you survive as well as a bonus for knocking out your opponents. The party one has you trying to survive still, but your goal is to collect a lot of treasure. You can knock treasure away from your opponents when you hit them in order to earn some bonus treasure, as well as whoever's the last surviving gets a chance at a giant amount of treasure, though if everyone dies, no one will have a chance at that treasure, and you only have a few seconds to grab it though before it ends up going to the next minigame, so even if you win, you still have to make sure you grab it or it won't count. As far as playstyles are concerned, you have Linear and Chaos. Linear is just that, you start with one minigame and then you complete it and go to the next minigame. Whereas in Chaos, you jump from minigame to minigame completely randomly and at any given time, even in mid-play. So after a few seconds, all the characters are frozen and you're jumped to another minigame and then eventually you'll come back. Thankfully, you have a few seconds to kind of get your bearings, but not long before the game ends up picking back up once it goes back to a previously already started minigame. When you complete a matchup, all of the points that have been earned from all the player-controlled characters will be added up, and these points are then put into a total, which then levels you up and unlocks the game's unlockables, which includes the extra weapons, which are mostly just aesthetic, with a variety of different items like umbrellas and other things, as well as also a few unlockable characters. There's a total of eight different playable characters for you. The game has an okay variety to the events included, but a lot of them are very similar and there's still just not enough of them. You end up repeating events pretty fast in the game. Marooners is a good example also of a game that you're not going to want to get if you're just going to be playing by yourself. The inclusion of bots is a nice feature, but the AI is extremely dumb with no way to tweak it at all. A lot of times the AI would just run in place, run in the walls, and in fact, I would just sometimes put the controller down and let the AI just run around and eventually it would kill itself, giving me the win. While the game does have a few unlockables and some fun with some multiplayer matches, it just doesn't have really a whole lot going on in it. From the technical side of things, the game didn't crash on me, but I did run into a bit of slowdown here and there as well as a couple of stutters that were so severe, I would actually lose control of my character for about two or three seconds. Marooners is available now on the PS4 for $9.99, it does feature a platinum trophy, and the game is also available on PC and Xbox One. Overall, for low-priced budget party games, Marooners is actually one of the more fun ones I have played, but it really isn't saying a whole lot. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Marooners a 6 out of 10. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.